So um, I'm going to show you um, how to round off this neck edge, which is a kind of neck opening, which is kind of a rectangular shape. I've used these partial uh, motifs to start a little bit of shaping because um, the actual neck opening was much too wide so this is like a giving me a little bit of extra um, shoulder, shoulder um, seam and also as I said these partial motifs here are kind of helping to round start a bit of shaping for me so I'm going to do a single crochet row um, and a bit of filling in in these corners and the single crochet row is basically going to allow me to uh, there'll be the setup where I pick the stitches up from for when I knit my uh, ribbed neckline so I'm going to join the yarn chain one and single crochet in the same space and then I'm just going to go along and single crochet into each of my granny stitches so remember to treat the stitches uh, you know through, you're working through both loop front and back of each granny stitch you're not working into any of the spaces so coming up to this corner I want to fill in that hole a little bit I'm going to do a series of graduated stitches so it's going to be a bit of an experiment I think I'm going to go for a half double then a double um, and then a treble in the third granny stitch. Let's have a quick look what that looks like. Draw them all off together. Mm, that might be okay. And then I'm going to do a chain one. And then I'm going to do a, a treble into the first stitch of these three of the next motif. But I'm not going to finish it off. Then I'm doing a double into the next one and not finishing it off. And then I'm doing a half into the next one and not finishing it off. And then I'm going to finish them all off in one go. So that might, and let's just do a couple of single crochets along the next set of clusters just to see what that looks like. Actually, that's pretty good, I think. I'm wondering whether the first stitch of that last uh, um, penultimate cluster should be a half double. So I'm quite quite pleased with that. Mm, should I switch to a half double? I think I might do. You know, I think I might do. Right. So so remember, I've got a, a cluster in the corner. Of this motif and that's why I'm doing my uh, I'm crocheting three stitches together of varying lengths to create a kind of slope and then I'm doing a chain one and doing the reverse in there so it's these three stitches in each cluster on this motif and this motif that I'm paying attention to so the stitch just before the cluster I'm just going to make that one a little bit longer too by doing a half double in there then I'm just going to start doing a half double into the first of those double crochets. Then I'm going to start doing a double crochet, but not finishing it off. And now I'm going to do a treble, but again, I'm not finishing off the last step. So at this point, I have now got five loops on my hook, and then I'm going to draw them all off together. Then I'm going to chain one. Then I'm going to start the process again, but in a mirror image. So I'm doing a partial treble into the first double crochet of that first stitch of the cluster of this next one on the corner. Then I'm going to yarn over to do a double, but I am not going to finish it off. I'm going to do a yarn over and I'm going to do a half double. But again, I'm not doing the last step because I'm going to finish all of them off in one go. Then I am going to do a half double into the next stitch and then carry on in single crochet. So let's have a look now. Yeah, I mean, it's not that much difference, it's a subtle difference, but I think that's just added a little 
extra curvature there. Um, it's always, you know, a bit worth experimenting, see what, what looks good. And so that's great. I'm just going to carry on putting one into each of these doubles and I'm using the same size hook that I was using for making the motifs. Right, so when we get to the corner, remember each corner has got a chain too. So technically if you're running a line up the middle of the corner, then this side, one of those chains belongs to this side. So that's what we're going to work into. We're going to work one single crochet into the first chain of this chain two corner. Then we are also going to work into the slip stitch. So that will depend that what that looks like will depend on how you've joined your motifs so this is actually a, a, this was me doing a slip stitch and turning a corner and that means that type of slip stitch on a corner like that I'm going to go through the legs of the slip stitch and single crochet then next up now this one can be a bit tricky to find sometimes because we've got three stitches there but we also need to go into the chain one um, that belongs to this half of this motif from the corner. So I can't actually see that very well, so I'm just gonna cheat and just go straight into the corner with a single crochet and then single crochet into each of the double crochets. So just a recap of what happened at the point where they join. I'm just crocheting one stitch into each of these doubles and then I'm crocheting, if the chain is visible, I'm crocheting into the chain, the actual chain stitch, then I'm crocheting into the slip stitch, then I'm crocheting again into the chain stitch, or if I can't see the stitch, just crochet into what, what is the chain one space. It's actually the chain two space, but we're, we've we got half of it up this side. So, and then one stitch into each, and I'm just going to carry along until I get to my next corner. And then I'll demonstrate again what I did there. And then I might demonstrate one more seam and then hopefully by that point you have got the gist. Now I've overshot the mark here a bit because remember the the stitch just before the first set of three treble uh, three double crochets at, on this corner I'm going to start ra raising the stitch height a little bit by doing a half double. So yarn over into the stitch, pull up a loop, partial half double, yarn over into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw off two, that's a partial double, yarn over two, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw off two, yarn over, draw off two, that is a partial treble. Now you have got five uh, loops on the hook and you're going to yarn them all off into in one go. Then you're going to chain one, and then you're going to start with a two yarn overs for a treble and you're going to jump straight over to this next set of three stitches on this corner. So go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw off two, yarn over, draw off two, that's a partial double. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw off two, um, that is a partial double. Into the next stitch, pull up a loop, that is a partial half double. Now I've got five loops on my hook, yarn over, draw off all five in one go. Next stitch is a half double, and then I'm going to carry on just putting one into each. One single, that is, until I get to the next seam or join. So again, I'm going into this um, chain one here, then I'm going into the slip stitch join. So this is actually a good example because this is a different slip stitch join. This is where I was doing the continuous join and I was finishing off multiple motifs in one go. So the slips, the, uh, the join is going across the top and I can actually see clearly see the top of the slip stitch front loop back loop so I am literally just treating that slip stitch like a normal stitch and working into it and again here because of that kind of join along there the next chain is also highly visible and I've worked into the actual chain and then one into each of the next double crochets 
so let's have a look at that that's pretty neat and don't forget we are we're going to be adding a uh, some nice knitted ribbing on there and then that will also help to smooth out any other you know that also give it a, help round it off a little bit more so shall I show you the corner one more time I don't know if you've had enough by now maybe I will just so I'll do it quickly this time um, okay keep an eye on these corner stitches okay in this penultimate cluster I last stitch I'm going to do half double partial half double partial double partial treble Finish them all off in one go. Chain one, just remember to try and keep everything really neat. Uh, jumping across to the next motif, and I'm doing a partial treble, and I'm doing a partial double, and I'm doing a partial half, and then finishing everything off in one go. And then the next stitch is also a half, and then one in each. So, anyway, I'm going to carry on uh, just like that, and then. Um, I will show you how to do a sewn bind off at the end. So um, I've come to back to the beginning of the round, so I'm just going to cut my yarn and I'm going to do a sewn bind off uh, or an invisible bind off, but I'm just actually just going to use my crochet hook. So I've cut the yarn and I'm pulling the live loop until the end pops out. And I'm turning the work to the back and I'm going to uh, I'm looking at the start of the round here, but from the wrong side, tilting it over so that I can see the top. So what I want to do is I want to skip the first stitch and go into the second stitch from the back like that through both loops. Then I'm going to grab the yarn and I'm going to pull it through. Then looking at this last stitch I made, now this bit can be a little bit tricky sometimes, but uh, you do get used to it. I'm coming up through the back ridge of that stitch and then I'm coming up through the back loop of the stitch. So the hook is going in quite a strange direction that it would never normally go when we're crocheting. It's coming up through the back ridge and up through the middle of the stitch. Then I'm grabbing the yarn and I'm pulling it through. And what I've made there is a mock stitch and then we don't have any horrible um, slip stitch join. So obviously that's quite unstable at the moment. I am going to have to get a needle and just run it the tail end through the back of those stitches. And nice sharp needle and it is going catching the back legs of about three or four stitches there in that. And then just checking I haven't accidentally altered the gauge, that looks pretty good. And then um, catching a leg and going back along a bit like that and then while I'm here I might as well sew in this very short end I hope that's not going to pop out might make it go back the other way as well get that in there okay trim that carefully and Take a quick look at this. I think that's actually good, really. That's not bad. I've actually started doing one sleeve on this. I've got one sleeve <laughs> and the other side hasn't got a sleeve and there's no front or back, just the neck look. So, Anyway, now um, that is ready for my uh, knitted rib. 